Hello, it is your boy Codexual, and today we're going to be talking about the internet service provider AT&T Uverse. Now, the model that we are working with of the modem slash router is the Pace 5268AC. Rather that you're on a ONT network, aka fiber, that you're on a DSL network or coax cable, that's completely fine. We're working on the modem here so with this page it's universal with every other pages as well so how to get to this page you want to type in 192.168.1.254 now if this page does not display for you all you got to do is open up your command prompt and let's go ahead and do that here on open up your command prompt go to ip config and it'll say default gateway and it'll say your default IP address. Now I'm connected to an additional router, so this is not gonna be the same for you, but it should be the 192.168.1.254. That should be the IP address that you have to enter in on your web browser. And it'll take you to this uh, display page. Anywho, we're gonna be working with Wi-Fi, and on another video, I'll show you how to port forward if you all are curious, if you're trying to run a home server of some sort. And in another video is just basic troubleshooting and whatnot. So as for the Wi-Fi, let's go ahead and click on that. Now, if it brings you to a page where it asks you what your access token is, I don't know what your access token is, you need to find that. Now, everything can be referenced on the side of your modem that will have a orange slash yellow sticker or some type of sticker that will have your information. So you can enter in all this and... Um, and whatnot. Anywho, so on this particular modem, it is a 2.4 band, and it also has a 5 point uh, or a 5 gigahertz band. Let's talk about the 2.4 band first. Basically, the 2.4 is standard. Uh, every Wi-Fi device can connect to the 2.4, and there, I should say, older devices. Um, actually, no, I messed up my words. Every device can connect to a 2.4, but as for an older device, it cannot connect to a 5 band. So, just want to let you know about that. Now, it's enabled. We want it enabled. If you want to, if your devices, if all of your devices are a 5 band, what I would do is I would disable the 2.4 band and make sure, um, and make sure that you are enabled with this alone. Basically, what this means for you is there is two frequencies that are being carried out, and they're mixtures in the two. Um, if we can get rid of one signal, so it doesn't interfere with the other signal, that brings more clarity to you and has more of a uh, faster speed. However, let's go ahead and um, assume that all of your devices are a little bit older. So. Let's talk about the next thing. Let's talk about the Wi-Fi channels here. Now, this is set to auto, and that's good. But if you are having problems with your network speed, I would start messing around with it from there's 1 through 11. But I would stay away from 1, 6, and 11. Those are the default channels that your neighbors could be on, especially if you are in a high-traffic residential areas such as apartments or just there's Wi-Fi all around. So if you just see what's in your Wi-Fi network and you see all these people's Wi-Fi's, then you definitely want to make sure that you are away from 1, 6, and 11 because those frequencies will interfere with your frequency. So if you were to choose 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, I would suggest that. Basically, if you can get a Wi-Fi analyzer on your phone or whatnot, it will show you what channels the devices are on so you can stay, or devices, that the Wi-Fi router slash modems are on so you can stay away from that particular um, channel. Now, basically, why you want to stay away from those um, carriers or excuse me, those Wi-Fi channels. Because if you're on um, channel one and that person's on channel one, everything in the air is going to be distorted. You're gonna have of a slower speed, low, um, a higher ping, a higher latency. So you wanna make sure that everything is in the clear 
So hopefully that makes sense. Additionally, if you can stay away from the kitchen, because the microwaves and refrigerators and whatnot, especially when the kids come home off of school and they start nuking something in the microwave, and for whatever reason, if your modem is on that microwave, you're going to have a bad time, especially if you're like in a Skype conference or whatnot. Um, so keep it away from the basement. Um, the, the basement in the floors or the ceilings, I should say, have some metal or some rock sheets that is depleting the signal. So if you ever go into a warehouse like Costco or Sam's Club and you start to see your cell phone um, signal start to drop, basically it's in that analogy. Uh, and also you want to have the modem slash router by itself away from other electronics because it can, other electronics can give off a frequency or some type of radio wave. So just letting you know about that. If you can, just in general, if you can have a hard wire connected to your router, awesome. I, I would recommend that. That's what I do. I, I, I don't like Wi-Fi. I hate it. If I can have um, an Ethernet connected on my phone to the router, I would. But however, that's not the case here. We're in the days, today's world, and we want everything to be convenient. I understand that. That's why you're here. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Sorry, a little bit of a rant. So I'm just letting you know that uh, 1, 6, and 11 are bad channels that you definitely want to stay away from. And uh, go to speedtest.net, and every time that you change up a channel... Just uh, run a speed test. So, you know, make sure that you have a um, password that no one can guess, which you can use a custom password here. The less devices that is on your network, the better it is for you. That should be common sense. It's basically, if you add more straws in the Coca-Cola, how much are you really going to enjoy that Coke? So, now as for the 5 band gigahertz, basically this is newer technology and you will see more of the promising speeds that the package you sign up for. Um, if you sign up for 100 megabytes, then you'll start to see closer to that 100 megabytes. Um, just letting you know about that. Now, you can change out the channels and these channels are different. As you can see, they're not 1 through 11. It's 36, and it starts to skip every few numbers. So you want to stay away from 36, 165, and somewhere in the middle, between the 64 and 100. Stay away from those, but you have all these other channels that you can mess around with. And as for the channel bandwidth, it's either with 40, that will deplete the signal, so neighbors around you won't be able to see it, or you're going to have a 80 megahertz, which will strengthen the signal for that um, longer range. So that, that's where it's at. And after you're done messing around with the settings that you need to, you can go ahead and hit save, reset your router, unplug it for 10 to 30 seconds, and plug it back in. And basically, that's it. Um, that should help out with your speed, better connectivity, uh, with the Wi-Fi, except for if you're in the basement or if the router's in the basement, you're going to have problems. Or if it's in the kitchen, you're going to have problems. So hopefully that this video makes sense to you. If it does, please, please, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video. And as our channel grows, you grow with us. We want to educate the world. And uh, yeah, take care. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, grinding till the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on, like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting like I can't.